Joined by Gene Willie, head coach of the Bridgewater College Eagles women's basketball team. They were picking a tie for third this year in the ODAC preseason poll. Coach, talk a little bit about your team so far in early season practice. Well, it's been an exciting preseason for us. Uh, we graduated five seniors off last year's squad, so we have a lot of new faces, um, a lot of new energy, enthusiasm, which always kinds of make it makes for good practices early on, certainly. Who do you expect to be your leaders this season? Because from last year you had the ODAC Player of the Year in Jordan Burkholder, and you do return one first-teamer this year in Jessica Mullen. Talk a little bit about what you expect out of your leaders this season. Sure. Uh, you know, I think the one thing that we're going to need is for somebody really to replace Jordan's effort on the defensive end of the floor. I know she was known for her offense, but I think, um, you know, led the conference in steals, and, and we've always kind of hung our hat on the defensive end. So I think as much as an offensive end trying to replace her, it's going to really be the defensive end. And as you mentioned, Jess Mullen, uh, we do return her back as a first-team all-conference. And Certainly, uh, Jenny Logan is back, Katie Hottinger, um, Holly Morgan, um, just some of the returners, Sarah Bohr, and really playing some quality minutes, and, and they're going to need to because certainly we have a lot of shoes to fill. You have several newcomers coming to the squad this year. Talk a little bit about them and who may make a name for themselves in their first year. Sure. Uh, you know, I think uh, particularly in the post area, um, you know, we recruited some height that hopefully will be to our advantage. Uh, Kelsey Taylor is a 5'10 left-handed post player from Brentsville um, area up near Manassas and is having a good preseason. Shannon Thorne, um, a 5'10, 5'11 post player from James Wood. I think they're going to see significant minutes uh, returning. Rebecca Reef Snyder worked really hard. Uh, she's a sophomore in the post, um, improved play. From the guard uh, positions, Lindsey Torbeck from Baltimore, Maryland. Kelly Hughes, a 5'10, a lanky guard. Uh, from Annandale, um, you know, I could, uh, there's a few more, I think, who, who I, I'm counting on to give us good minutes. Let's take a look at the conference as a whole. Last year you won 22 ball games throughout, throughout overall and won, I believe, 17 games in the conference. Right. What does it take to win in a league right now where usually the parity is pretty deep within the league? Uh, well, I think a team has to stay injury-free, really, to compete. I think, uh, you know, an injury down here or there against any of these teams could be a difference maker, staying healthy, um, you know, along with that. Um, and I think really having your, you know, quote-unquote game face on every game because uh, it is going to be a battle every night. Uh, I think that we see that from the preseason um, poll here. I think, uh, you know, one through 11 of us, you know, home, away, any given night, a team can, can beat anybody, which is, makes it exciting for us coaches. Well, Coach, thank you for joining me today, and good luck this season. Okay, thank you.